bits, you can just leave it open or we can do separates. Dr. Tammy Evans Colquitt knows firsthand the power of words and how they can alter the course of a life. You can say a word to someone, you can take them someplace, introduce them someone, and it will change their life. As a little girl, Tammy was told by a counselor that she would never amount to anything. It's the little girl that um, worked very, very hard to change the tape that was played in my head, that was planted in my head. So she used education to transform her life and ultimately the lives of countless others with an organization that outfits people for work. She called it Image and Attitude. With clothing, shoes, and accessories she'd gathered from friends, the married mother of twin toddlers opened the doors to five women who needed business attire to go back to work or enter the workforce for the first time. Some accessories, and I think you are ready. They love what they had on, and we were just cheering each other and embracing each other and so forth. Not the pair of black pants. They come in and we match them with a stylist um, who will help them to find that appropriate attire. While selecting garments and accessories, Tammy's clients also adorned themselves with confidence. Some of our women, you know, were coming from domestic shelters or from the prison system or generational welfare. And they could come to a place and know that they were not being judged. My name is Dr. Colquitt. I am the founder and the CEO of Image and Attitude. Within months of helping women become models of workplace success, Image and Attitude would answer the call to help men. To see a, a, a man come in, maybe, you know, what, just come in and don't have the appropriate attire, never even been in a suit, and stand in front of a mirror now with a suit, shirt, and tie, and to see him look at himself as to who he is, what he can become. The garments became vessels delivering empowerment to people seeking a good job and a better life. What I care about is when you come in here that I see something in you that you, can't, that you don't see in yourself yet. And for the short time you're here, I'm gonna help you to see that possibility. I'm gonna take the blanket and the sheet and pull it out and then you're gonna cover her. Eventually, Image and Attitude developed retail and service industry training, and in recent years, a vocational school called Prep Institute that offers certified nurses' aid training. Students are at a nursing home, and they are being trained in clinical training and classroom training, that when they finish their six weeks program, they're ready to take their state exam and to be licensed certified nurses' aid. The Pensacan-based organization has been recognized by the New Jersey NAACP, the State Senate, General Assembly, and has received a Heroes Award from Governor Chris Christie. I don't do any of this for rewards and awards, but when the community, when organizations such as PABJ can say, hey, we're watching you, we see that you're, what you're doing in the community, that's, that's, a, that's a beautiful thing. And providing pathways has not always been easy. Skepticism, the recession, and shrinking resources could have forced the door shut. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I've seen enough to know that what people need is someone to just give them a chance. Don't judge me. Don't judge me or where I've been, who I am. Just give me that chance. When you get that job, definitely come back. In 15 years, Image and Attitude and the new Prep Institute have helped more than 17,000 people get suited up for work and life. I believe that your feet can hit the floor in the morning and you don't know what's going to happen to you that day that will change the course of your life. While fulfilling what she calls her life purpose, the good Dr. Colquitt has injected renewed meaning into so many lives. It is why Dr. Tammy Evans Colquitt has been selected to receive the Philadelphia Association of Black Journalists 2015 Community Service Award.